Hey guys, what's going on? Today is, uh, it's actually gonna be a little bit of a shorter video. I know I haven't done a video since last Wednesday. Uh, I was supposed to do it, uh, over the past couple days. I wanted to do a full Dragon Ball Le Legends training guide, essentially. I was gonna do, like, two or three videos on it. One was gonna be in-game mechanics, the other is going to be navigation, and then the other is gonna be, like, story mode, uh, and PvP. Like, that, that kind of stuff, for, like, team building. Uh, anyway, that is not going to be today's video. Today we're just doing a little bit of a gameplay and a little bit of a game showcase just to show you what I'm working with and what I got. So, um, I've been playing, obviously, Legends. I'm up to level 19. I am about to ascend to level 20 and get my free Goku. So, with you guys here, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I have all the mission rewards already done for today. So here we are. We have all the dailies. Well, most of the dailies done. I need to actually go and get do an, uh, pick up my adventure reward and then get these uh, rising yellows in order for uh, me to get Pikemon leveled up and stuff. But there we go. I got my bonus, and I got my Goku now. You know, Goku level 20. I get plus 100. By the way, 100 is what you require is what required for, in order for you to use um, uh, an actual sparking or to use a character. So I already have a, a Super Saiyan Goku that gets added to him, and now he's limit broken, which is awesome. I've been waiting for him to get a nice limit break. Look at that. I love that. It's such a nice animation too. I really am enjoying Dragon Ball Legends, so uh, I just need to let you guys know I've been doing really well with it. Um, my PvP action has been doing pretty damn good, and uh, I'm even taking on events like when I was like had like half of the like well not maybe I half maybe like 75% of the battle power um, as with some enemies. I still was marking it just because I, I got pretty decent at the game. Um, anyway, I have ascended. Z ability two is awakened now. I have 22% tag to Saiyan base strike attack during battle. So that means everyone who is a Saiyan or has a Saiyan tag, will now increase their super or their strike attacks, which is awesome. And Goku is just such a phenomenal unit too. Um, next one is going to be Vegeta. Unfortunately, it's not really a lot. Vegeta doesn't give you a lot of uh, points. I think it's like 25 points or something like that, or 20 points. I was just like, for a sparking unit, he should have probably been 100 as well. Uh, but whatever, what can you do, right? Um, reach battle rank 15, so that's for the PvP. We're going to go collect that reward. And then I, I did, a, I guess, an event. Um, battle 50 times using the Sun Family. Oh, don't, don't sleep on these... Raditz events either, or the Nappa events, it's really good to go and grab that stuff, just because it's freaking, um, it's zenny, it's points, it's experience, it's really awesome. We'll go over here, we'll collect my adventure as well. Um, so yeah, I've, I've really been enjoying, I've been enjoying the gameplay, it's really not that hard once you learn the mechanics of the game. Um, I also want to do a, an awakening with you guys on camera, that way you guys can see kind of how to awaken a character. So um, I'm pretty sure I can do Raditz right now. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to do it. I might have to save it for another video. Um, but essentially, this is how you're going to awaken um, a, a unit. Yeah, I have enough. All right, so we go over here. You, you class up means 10. You need 10 of these guys over here uh, in order to get a character awakened. Uh, let's see. That's that shows is that 10? Let's see. I'll hit OK. We'll do that. I have some a whole bunch of Zenny. And then we should be good. Okay, eight. We got two more to go. So boom, boom. So all right, so you have to go when, when you're trying to awaken from 300 to 600. You gotta do this fir first full row, and then you gotta hit OK. You will now do a soul boost. You guys got your soul boosted up, and now you have your class up. Now I can go here. I well, I don't have these things, so that kind of sucks. Uh, maybe I'll do it in a separate video again anyway. Um, go over here. You just click on how to get, um, and we'll tell you where to go. I typically do like the Nappa event or the Raditz event if I see it pop up when I'm trying to grind something, and that's just because their events typically give more zenny, more experience, stuff like that. So. Uh, that's there, but let's go back to the characters, and let's talk about my team. These are all my units that I have over here. We're going to go over here, and I have them filtered. I have all the heroes filtered out, so this is all the extreme and sparkings I have. So I'm, I'm super hyped. I really like these units. This is this is such an awesome team. Um, let's see. We don't have anything. Oh, we, we can't sort. It's interesting. Um, maybe. Oh, there we go. Not, not, we want it by rarity. All right, cool. So um, we have, I got Piccolo, he's three star ascendant. I have my Vegeta, which is four star ascendant, which was awesome. Uh, I really want to get him to five star. Uh, Goku, which you just saw me get the three star Paikuhan, which is three star. And then I have all the extreme units. And um, what's well, interesting that the sparking, oh, maybe because he's in the party. Uh, I have the sparking Super Saiyan, or not the Super Saiyan, Spirit Bomb Goku, which is, which is supposed to be a decent defender. I have not actually looked at his stats in, or any other um, reviews from the Reddit or anything like that. He's a pretty decent unit, especially once I got him past 300. He's been doing really well. Um, yeah, I kind of, I'm, I really want to awaken my G Vegeta Tio, by the way, he is going to be the first unit I get past 600, yes, I have still have not done that, so, um, that's gonna be a thing. Um, I guess, you know what, let's go ahead and just do, um, a, a, a PvP match, because PvP is a lot of fun, and hopefully we can go and find someone to, to fight really quick. I'll just edit it out if it takes too long. Um, but anyway, you go into PvP. The PvP system's kind of awesome. Uh, I just like fighting against other people. It just kind of stinks because it takes so long to actually find an opponent. 
in the game and then sometimes when you're in the game i know a lot of people oh they, they backed out of the battle but i mean there's been a lot of times where i was in the middle of fighting someone and my wi-fi just kind of like kicked me out or booted me out or the game lost connection you know like everything else is working my game just lost lost connection and they, they definitely need to fix that so um i'm i'm not that oh look at that. So we're going up against piccolo which is kind of gonna be a really really whack battle uh maybe i'll go and do another event after that like an actual story um from the nap event that i haven't done yet oh uh, let's see so we're gonna bring super saiyan goku we're gonna bring vegeta and Paikuvan, which I don't need really any of them because that's just way too OP for the team I'm going up against, but it, it's just awesome. I love playing this game. Um, it's I, I'm not going to say it's kill, it's kill Dokkan. I definitely don't believe that by any means. Uh, Dokkan has its own place. It's definitely not a, 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 P, a PvP kind of game, so it's definitely for those who don't need to um, or don't want to go up against other opponents and stuff. Uh, see, look over here. I just, I'm just demolishing this freaking team. It's ridiculous how freaking like sad these guys are. <laughs> but uh, well, I guess whatever. What can you do? Give me, give me some rank up, baby. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm pretty. I, I, I still think that Dokkan has um, a decent amount of time left. I'd give Dokkan at least another year, um, depending on what happens. Obviously, uh, if they, if they end up creating new, new content for Dokkan Battle um, or new content for uh, video games and stuff like that, Dokkan can pull from. That would be that, that. That would keep the game going for a while, especially with the new hero stuff coming out. Um, by the way, so I don't know if you all saw. Um, there was this tech Vegeta. I have not checked out on the Reddit or DBZ space as of yet, so I'm definitely gonna have to go and check that out. because uh, that looks interesting. I wonder what they're doing. I guess we're. I, I don't know if we're gonna be getting the heroes cards. I saw some things about them being in there. I think it might have just been a mistake on Bandai's part. But now we see a, a, a physical Vegeta Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta and a tech Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. And that, to me, kind of means like we're not getting heroes and we're getting our own special units like we kind of thought with the other World Tournament. Um, anyway, um, Raditz Event, uh, number five. I have not played this one yet. 268,000 battle damage. So we're going to go up against it. Now, I do have a specific team for Saiyan, the 12th Saiyan boost. I, I know I spelt it wrong, but that's only because I want to write the word boost. And uh, yeah, I couldn't do that. So all these guys are Saiyans, except for Paikuan. Uh, I just needed a physical unit in there. And um, all of them will pretty much boost each other. The, the, the actual team power level is low, but with all their boosts, they're pretty damn powerful. Um, but I, I'm pretty much just going to run this one, because this one has Piccolo, and I, I'm going to need Piccolo to go up against Vegeta. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. So, yes, I understand. They give you this little warning, too, when you're going up against a battle power that's higher than your own. Um, I don't care, because it's just energy, so whatever. <laughs> um, all right, so we have uh, uh, Raditz up here, who is physical. Um, Vegeta, which is agility, and then we have to, mm, like, I want to bring this Vegeta, but I kind of don't, because I want to bring the Goku, but Vegeta's super freaking powerful, so we're bringing him anyway. Um, no one really has a type advantage against Nappa, but whatever, maybe I can get, um, I'll use my, um, Rising Rush on him, if I can do that at the time. So, uh, I typically start my battles, I'll go, and then I'll see, and I'll just throw a freaking Key Blast, because then they usually will come at me. Um, I always tap to try and dodge that Key Blast, uh, whenever, because they'll dodge the first one always. And I always try to dodge it. I always get the little exclamation point, and I can never dodge it in enough time, and I don't know why. Like, it's it works sometimes. Tap. Ooh, 956. Nice. So at least uh, Raditz got that. And then um, we're going to go and we're going to land some um, uh, some nice melee damage up on this guy. And we're going to do some uh, power-up real quick. Boom. Hell yeah. Nice little flip to go up there. And then boom. Ooh, ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And I never follow up with a melee from an attack like that. When I go over and I do my stuff, I'll always try to do key if I have the, if I have the ability to do so. Because key is a lot safer because you can usually um, save yourself from a lot of damage when you do that. All right, so we have the rising rush. I always do a rising rush after also landing an attack. So that might be a little bit more beneficial for those of you who are trying who can't ru land rising rushes. Launch a key blast. If you get the Key Blast success, or if you happen to do a melee, do those before the Rising Rush, because then you know if you land those, chances are you're going to be able to do a Rising Rush. I think the only thing that, that will um, screw that is if... You know, damn it, he just destroyed my Goku. And the only thing that will block it is if he has someone who changes out. There we go. Nice, we got the timeless taps. I don't know if you guys can hear the, 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 the tapping. It just started downpouring over here by me. So, um, oh, by the way, you don't have to do the tap on the first one, so it's... Uh, you just do it like that, and you'll be fine. Then I, I just run, I dash after him, I throw the um, the key at him again, like I said, just do that, because it's uh, it's a pretty much a guaranteed hit. If it doesn't, you could definitely see them coming. Ooh, nice. Vegeta don't know what's going to happen right now. I mean, I'm just letting my stuff um, reload my key gate. 
There we go. We're good. Now we're just going to go here. Ooh, now we're going to rush him. Hell yeah. No. There we go. Perfect. See, that time it worked. It's, it's just timing, and it just kind of sucks because I can't always get it timed properly. Oh, all right. Well, let's see here. We go this. There we go. Now we're going to get the Dragon Ball so that way we have two more to go, and we should be good, and I should be able to dodge again very soon. Yep, there we go. I got my dodge back. Hell yeah. Ooh, nope. Bye-bye, bitch. <laughs> We're going to make Pickle a little bit more powerful. We're going to throw another Key Blast at Raditz. Oh, no. Ooh, that was difficult. That was tough. And I don't want to um, bring Ra uh, my Vegeta out. Because if my Vegeta doesn't have the type advantage against him. What is that? Wow. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. No, no, no. Okay. Well... We're going to go ahead and do this. No, see, Vegeta doesn't dodge at all. That sucks, man. Because, like, I literally was flicking it so that way I can dodge. And nothing happened. Ooh, perfect. Rising Rush. Sorry about that. Um, yep. So there we go. That's all set. Vegeta comes in with the Rising Rush and just destroys him. There we go. And you just saw me to get killed. I mean, granted, I only was 20,000 less. But it's very easy once you know how to get your dodging and going in and out of battle. But again, I will do a full gameplay video on that and how I do what I'm doing, if you guys are wondering. I tried to explain it while I'm while I'm playing. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult on the more difficult level. Um, there we go. First time clear reward. And I think we're good. I think that's all of the um, events. Now, you always want to go back and you always want to try and get all the Chrono Crystals that you can. Yeah, that's all the events. So, uh, yeah, that's that. But anyway, um, that's it, guys. I just want to really do a little bit of quick gameplay video. I will be doing more videos for you later on today i'm actually going out i i signed up i bought some tickets me and my buddy we bought some tickets for the taste of country concert and that is going to be up in uh, hunter mountain so we're gonna be going up there so i want to go check out the area and i want to see if we could find like camping areas or something like that because apparently all the hotels are booked so uh, i'm just gonna go out, scope out the area maybe there's some hiking trails around there that you can go hiking and camping in and me and him will just like set up camp somewhere and then we can go there afterwards so we don't have to come all the way back down here it's about like a two hour three hour ride but um, anyway, guys, that's it. I will definitely have more videos out. I'm definitely going to be doing some Dokkan content later on today. So if you're interested in that, make sure to stay tuned. Um, and we're going to be talking about any of the updates because I know the game's been out of commission since like middle of last night because people were randomly having that Tech Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta in their boxes. I'm pretty sure that was a mistake. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you all in the comments below. Peace.